Hi there. So today we're going to talk about uh, some what pro professional development is and how it works in a business business workplace, which leads into uh, personal development. My name is Kerwin Curry. I am peer mentor on the Matt Taper Tribe. So what is professional development? Professional development is when a business person wants to gain more experience and education to better themselves and their worth. So pretty much just building you, getting more educated, being, making yourself more employable. So what happens without personal, professional development? Without having an opportunity for professional or personal development skills, they will be lost and your business won't reach their fullest potential. So if you have a business to reach that uh, fullest potential that you could have, you need to be constantly building yourself, building your worth, um, getting more education, more experience. That's all to do with professional development. So the solution, um, the business you work for or the business that you own should make your success priority. It is crucial for you to look for ways to keep yourself well educated through course through through courses, networking, and formal training. So this is just pretty much saying that you have to stay current with your your first aid runs out every now and again. Yeah. Get that renewed. You know, you have to stay on top of your education. Keep yourself educated on new trends, new different training per, training ways, uh, WMIS, and things like that. I have a short video I'm going to show you guys. Professional development, commonly referred to as PD, is a systematic process that strengthens how professionals obtain and retain knowledge, skills, and attitudes. PD doesn't happen by chance. In order to improve organizational practices, you must consciously design PD processes and content with your organization's goals in mind. Professional development should leverage adult learning principles to engage learners. That means following a systematic process that includes sustaining, designing, promoting, delivering, following up, and evaluating. Offerings should be designed so that participants feel respected, the learning environment is safe and supportive, the content is relevant to participants' needs, learning offerings are varied to address the needs of a diverse audience, participants have opportunities to practice skills and apply new knowledge. For more information about adult learning principles, theories, and learning styles, see the next course in the series, Professional Development 201, From Basic to Dynamic. So, I hope you guys liked it. So, for example, different ways that your business could be keep up on building your personal development. Um, there's online training, things like WMIS, food handlers, or there a lot of them are offered on online, especially with COVID. A lot of things are moving to online. So just whenever you get an opportunity, you know, take those online learning that you, you have opportunity to do. Um, conversa conversation training. So one-on-one -on -one, um, or in group settings so seminar training is great ways to build networking skills, um, communication skills verbally. And I would definitely do it. Um, and then formal education, so getting that college degree, getting your high school diploma, things like that. And remember, education is power, so you guys just got to put yourself out there, take those opportunities when they arise. So another important thing is track your success. So you could do all this training and things, but if you, you know, lose all your your certificates or lose this certificate there, you know, it's almost, some employers require that to be able to know that you took Took that training, so just keep track of it. Um, so things like building a resume or portfolio, you know, just have a little portfolio that you just put all your certificates in. 
um, don't be afraid. So when those things come up, don't be like, oh, maybe I'll get it next time. Oh, maybe, um, you know, I'm shy. Just go out there and take advantage of it. Do something out of interest. Don't do it out of spite. Um, make sure you're interested in what you're going through. And sometimes if you're interested in one thing, you got to do a little bit of uh, side training on something that you're not so interested in. Sometimes you have to take that, that sacrifice, but make sure the end goal is something that you're interested in. And remember that personal and professional development doesn't expire. Maybe the card, your first aid card expires, but all the skills that you're learning, they don't expire. How it works. So start now. Do your research on which path you want to go to. Ask people, ask somebody who's in that field that you want to go into now or that business that you want to open. Um, ask your employer. So if you have a summer job or you're working for them, just be like, ask them all kinds of questions. You know, do you have any training that you that you've done that I could do? Do you know of any training that I could do to make me more hireable, make me more a better employee? Um, just to build yourself up, that get, give you that experience, um, and sign up. Sometimes there's all the times there's free courses hired, but if you're in your school. Or sometimes your community, they hire they have those free courses for you. Take advantage of those and, and go and do those courses. Make yourself build your professional development. Get, get you more experience. Where it can take you. So the advantage of professional and personal development allows you to increase your worth. So make you more employable. Maybe not money, but if you're more employable, you're going to make more money. If you're if you have more experience, um, it increases your knowledge. So knowledge, education is power. So you have to constantly be educating yourself, making yourself more powerful. Um, and learn and apply new things because if you're applying what you're, if you practice, your practice, if you practice what you learn, um, you're going to know it a lot more. You're going to educate yourself a lot more. So just, yeah, practice what you preach. So why now? It is never too early to start working on improving yourself, taking those little courses, um, building your resume, uh, getting, giving yourself more skills. So just start doing that now. Put yourself out there. Where to start? Here are some websites um, that offer free courses. Just go take it. Take one. Take a short one. Um, just so you, at least you can have it on your resume. And just by an employer seeing um, that you have, you know, you took it on your own initiative to take the do the women's course, you know, it's free, or do your St. John Ambulance babysitting course or first aid. It just makes you, you more employable, makes you more accountable as a person. If, I, if you have any questions or if you just want to say that you like this presentation, you can reach me on, on Facebook, Kerman Curry. And you can feel free to email me at any time with any questions or anything with that. Uh, at curryk at mcft.ca. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you very much.